And ooh, ooh, ooh. howdy do! Wow, I am back with video two for this. Wow, uh, Imperial India Pale Ale from Upso. Holy crap! I've been really impressed with your beers. This thing is holy crap. Uh, to have ten percent, ninety IBUs. Oh my lord! Holy crap! In a basket, this thing is brutal good. Uh, a lot of aromas going on. A lot of flavors. It's got this really interesting uh, finish, though. It's hard to describe. It's almost slightly, slightly woody, like it had a slight oak finish to it. And I know this isn't aged in wood, so it could very well be my taste buds. But it's, you got this. It, it, it's slightly dry, and I swear you get a little bit of oak right at the end. Mmm. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. You know. They're in Boulder, Colorado, and that area just has just a grunt load of 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 craft breweries, and craft breweries are popping up everywhere. And it seems, you know, and, and, uh, there are some guys like uh, me, and I'm older than I am, that have been in pursuit of you know good beer before it was even called craft beer. And, and I know there's a large percent, percentage of folks just in it for the trend, you know, and you've got beer companies coming out with uh, clever packaging and clever names. So here you got a brewery that's pretty well bare bones, right? Upslope India Pale Ale. Upslope Pale, you know, no clever packaging, no clever names. So in an area where they are, where there is so much competition, can... A company like this compete on product alone. My opinion is yeah, because the product is that good. And, and that's why it works, and it only works because the product is that good. I'm going to read just a touch from their website about their, their choice of doing a can. Uh, why the can? We package our beer in aluminum cans because it's good for you, the beer, and the environment. Plus, they're exceptionally portable. For the on-the-go beer enthusiasts, that's me, man. Uh, perfect for keeping our beer fresh. There you go. Easy to recycle. Yes, it is eco-friendly by requiring less fuel to transport. So there you go. That answers some questions about the can line. Oh, wow. So wow. I let this sit. I did a video as I popped it, but I had to. I had to wait a little bit because I wanted to let it sit and open up a little more. And this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. You have uh, you got so many aromas going on here. Oh, it's very floral as they describe. There are a lot of tropical notes for sure. I'm going to read a little bit from their can here that I didn't before. It lists ingredients. It says snow melt, malt, New Zealand hops. So I was probably wrong when I guessed my hops earlier, but they use New Zealand hops and yeast. Wow. This is an absolutely amazing Imperial IPA. Where does it fall in the grand scheme of how, what Imperials I've had? Well, honestly, it's, it's, it's wow. It's, it's, it's one of the best for sure. I hesitate to rate beers because I think a lot of it depends on what you're in the mood for at the moment. I've had some great uh, Imperial IPAs. Some are lighter bodied, some are thinner body, and it kind of depends on what time of the year. I like the heavier ones as we get into fall and winter. I like the lighter versions, you know, in the spring and summer. So I hesitate to, to put them in a specific order because sometimes that order changes. But I got to tell you, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And people, you hear a lot of talk about the Pliny, which I, I unfortunately, I haven't ever given one yet, man. I'm sad about that. I have had the Heady Topper, and I think that's a beautiful beer. But I, I got to say, man, in, in all honesty and sincerity, uh, for what it's worth, I think when you start talking about some of the best Imperial IPAs, folks have got to start putting this beer in that, in that conversation, man, because it is that good. In fact, all their products are that good. Um, and that's, again, that's... Marketing and clever marketing has become a big part of the craft beer scene. And here's here's folks that are just making a great product. This is one of the best Imperial IPAs I've ever had. I may have to do a third video because I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of getting the lay of the land of this one because it is so complex, so amazingly tasty. Holy crap. So 
Ooh, I'm trying to bear whisper. I don't want to run too long, but I think I'm going to have to do one more.